it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. And yes, I do look like uh, Scotty is gonna beam me up onto the Starship Enterprise, uh, but he's not. <laughs> Today, I have got a comprehensive Art Dot video for you. Uh, the folks at Art Dot, I wanna thank, first of all, they sent me these wonderful glasses. They are not all put together. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how this video is going to go. So. First of all, let me turn these off. These are awesome glasses, I love them. Uh, like I said, they're not all put together, but I'll be showing you how they work momentarily. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I have in my possession that I have purchased from Art Dot first and how I'm using them. Um, the reason why this video is comprehensive um, and doesn't just focus on the glasses is because Art Dot right now is having a 20% off sale. Today is the last day of the sale. You go to their website, Art Dot. I will link Art Dot's uh, website below. Um, and there is a coupon code you put in for 20% off your purchase, which is great. Um, I'm also an affiliate with Art Dot because I do use their products almost on a daily basis. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna show you how I do that in just a minute, but um, I, have a, I have a code, it's a painter, just P-A-I-N-T-E-R, for 10% off. But I'm telling you right now, today, don't use my code. You only get 10% off. Use their code. You get 20% off. So um, without any further ado, let me get into this video. And then we're going to head into the painter's place. And I'm going to show you these awesome glasses that they sent me uh, that uh, magnify your projects that you're working on. And it doesn't just have to be diamond painting. All right. First thing I want to share with you is this storage book. A lot of people have asked me about this portfolio. Kara, it's big. Do you use it? Where do you put it? This is stored under my bed. It really is. And um, it's very nice. It's heavy duty. Um, I like the versatility that this offers. Um, it has a Velcro clasp here down at the bottom that holds it. We're gonna take a little trip down memory lane when I open this up. It is big, it is very, very big. Um, yes, sorry, Marlon's taking you on a little bit of a trip moving the uh, camera over so you can see this. These pages, um, they are sleeves, they are plastic sleeves that you do put your diamond paintings into. Wanna call your attention to these little clasps in the middle. They all pop open and as you can see, they've got these two pointy things sticking up that the clasps uh, snap onto. Um, you can take these sleeves out and rearrange them however you would like. Another thing about this portfolio that I absolutely love is these sleeves uh, not only are interchangeable, but you can put two paintings in each sleeve, one in the front, like here we go, here's Sweet Tooth. Gosh, again, I'm going down memory lane. It's been a while since I've done Sweet Tooth. And then this one, oh gosh, this one was a mystery painting that Gwenda, Gwenda, if you're watching, here's my mystery painting. Um, but it's a great way to store things. Not only can you uh, change out uh, these plastic sleeves, and um, here's how you just, you open them up and you slide your paintings in, and it's a nice, great way to store them without gunk getting all over your canvases. In addition, I like the versatility. Not only can you store your paintings front to back in one of these sleeves, these sleeves are also um, sized. So this one, you can store four smaller paintings in because the sleeve is divided, I don't know if you can see this, divided right down the center. So uh, I have my little ho, ho, ho that I got out of my advent calendar from Diamond Art Club that I have in here, but I could store another one behind this one and then two more here. And um, in the back is where you open it up and you can, so I can, again, store one, two here and two here, and it just goes on. So um, I've been able to store a lot of my paintings that I have completed. Um, I don't know if I will frame them, but this is a nice way. A lot of people ask me all the time, what do you do with your paintings when you're finished with them? Well, some I frame and some I keep in this portfolio. And then when people want to see uh, my diamond paintings, if I go to any, um, you know, if I go to any talks about diamond painting or whatever, like my dad wants me to teach a diamond painting class at his retirement community, um, I will take these and they can see the different diamond paintings and the variety that um, are available. So that's that. And again, here is, this is an empty sleeve. So I've got, you've got plenty of room in these as well. I love that. 
And then here are just some more diamond paintings, uh, smaller diamond paintings. I want to call your attention to this one. This was the very first diamond painting I ever did. Life is a beautiful ride. If Marlon can pan in on it, you can see I completely oversealed it. Can you say overseal? Yeah, it, it's looking kind of bad, but I saved it because it was the first one I ever did. So um, great way to preserve and save your diamond paintings. Keeps them flat, keeps gunk from getting on them. And again, I like this. It's nice and heavy duty and uh, highly, highly recommend it. I use this all the time. You know, Marlon says a lot of times, you buy this stuff and you never use it. When are you gonna use it? It's like just throwing money in your craft room. This was not money thrown in my craft room. Th these are usable items that I reach for a lot. And this will slide very nicely flat under a bed. Um, I probably, dang, these diamond paintings get heavy after you get them done. Ah. Um, I will probably be getting another one of these uh, fairly soon, but it's just a nice compact way to store your completed diamond paintings. The next product, very quickly, that I wanna call your attention to. Now, there are, there are a couple of variations on these. I purchased these. Um, there are some other, uh, I know Christopher Colossa has done a video on his. He's got a different style of these than I do. Whatever style you buy, these, are amazing. I use these almost every day, just about, because this is where I store my DP with sparklers. So, um, you know, as I always say, I can open a small warehouse of DP with sparklers, but I love these drawers because they're versatile. versatile. The first set I bought was a four drawer set. And as you can see, I have labeled the drawers. These are my round DP with sparklers. So when I open them up, these are all of my sparklers. Um, I, they do come with these lovely vials that are the larger vials, they're not the smaller ones. And um, I take a label maker, I label what they are and the type of sparkler they are and they fit very nicely in these drawers and I've got much more storage. Down at the bottom, this one, um, I'll explain in just a minute, down at the bottom of this one, I have my special drills, so my bubble drills. Um, you know, any special drills, quad cubes and the like, I store down here and I also store at the bottom of this one. At the top, I love this. They are removable uh, storage, uh, storage uh, shelves, for lack of a better term. These are all of my bags. If I have too many sparklers to put in a container, if I fill one up and I still have sparklers left, I just store the excess up here so when I run out, I can uh, easily go grab. Also, I get samples sometimes in diamond paintings and in other things that I buy, and I keep the samples up here as well just to keep them organized. So um, that's my four drawer system. Now, I thought at the beginning that I wasn't going to use as many squares as I did rounds. I was wrong. So they also come in a set of two. Now, when you get your set of two, they all come with the storage shelf on the top of them, but I took this one off to uh, store my uh, drawers, one on top of the other. And so, you know, I can still easily use this in my craft room. I've got a couple of sets that I purchased from Tina. This is the Great Lakes Escape Retreat Diamond Painting um, Accent Kit that she so sweetly donated. Thank you, DP with Sparklers. Uh, for our official diamond painting for the retreat in Michigan, the Great Lakes Escape. And then this is uh, the quad border rainbow set that I am planning on using on uh, a mystery diamond painting that I've got. And then I've also, um, I also use this when I order, um, when I order DP with sparklers and I have not yet put them in uh, my containers that I need. For example, I bought these at the retreat and I still have not labeled my little vials that they're gonna go in, but these are special drills, so they'll go in the, either this bottom drawer or this bottom drawer. Um, these are big sparklers for squares and I bought a set, so I will put each of these in an individual vial and label it so it's all nice and organized for me. These are for my squares. And as you can see, I've labeled the drawers. I've got some cute stickers, but these are all my squares or my square, you know, um, squares and sparklers for squares. And again, down at the bottom, I have reserved another drawer for special drills. So I use these all the time. These guys that I've got just hanging out over here, you're like, Kara, what are these? 
These are what I have pulled. I'm uh, now working on uh, an Audrey Hepburn diamond painting that I will show you when we go into the painter's place and I show you what these babies can do, which is amazing. Um, but I pulled these out of my drawers because they're all organized and I can easily find them. Uh, my, excuse me, I got a hair. <laughs> My uh, diamond painting that I'm working on right now, the Audrey Hepburn, is a square, and so I didn't have to worry about looking in my rounds because I didn't just throw all these in drawers. I organized them so I knew I could go to my squares and pull the ones that I would, you know, uh, was choosing to use on that particular diamond painting. So I have these out uh, so I know what I'm using. So these are amazing uh, little storage container. And like I said, I don't have the other system. Um, those drawers are skinnier. Um, they may offer a little bit more versatility to stack uh, if you want, but I have loved these. Um, whatever, you know, whatever preference you've got, but they're all on sale right now for 20% off. So I uh, wanted to share that with you. All right, without any further ado, we are gonna shut down the camera for just a second, head into the painter's place, and you won't even know we were gone. And I'll show you these amazing magnification glasses. See you in the painter's place. And we are in the painter's place. And by the magic of video, I was only gone for a nanosecond. All right, now the product of the hour. This is a new product to me. And once again, thank you, Art Dot, for sending this out to me. Um, these will also be 20% off today, so uh, head over now. I'm going to preface this portion of the video by saying I'm not an, opto I'm an optometrist or ophthalmologist. Say that 10 times fast. I'm not an eye doctor, but um, I do wear prescription magnification glasses when I am cross-stitching, diamond painting, that sort of thing. Um, so I do not know what magnification level would be specific to your needs, but there are five lenses in here uh, that you can change in and out uh, to your comfort level and to what helps your vision the most. I love that. Everything about these magnification glasses are versatile. I had a pair back in the day similar to these, but it broke. They were not Art Dot. They were some cheaper version. Um, and again, another thing I love about Art Dot products is they are very, very reasonably priced and they are quality items. So um, excited to show you guys these. These are their new magnification glasses. They've sent me these to show you. Um, again, these are put together when you pull them out of the box. Everything about these glasses is adjustable. I love that. Up here, um, you have a, a nice set of directions um, in several languages, uh, but they are in English, yay. Um, and I have read over them, so I feel kind of versed enough to share this with you without having going over the directions. But if you need any help, there are very comprehensive directions in here. I have taken the lenses out of the plastic, so that's what that plastic is for. But this is what you get when you open the box. These are all assembled for you uh, when you open the box, which is very nice. I don't like putting things together. I really don't, and I don't like complicated things. Um, but these, I figured this out within a matter of minutes. It's not difficult. So this uh, black button in the center of the top of the glasses is your light button or your power button. These are powered by a USB cord. They are rechargeable glasses, so you don't have to get batteries every time you turn around. Just, It's just very, very nice. So when you hit this button, you will see a light come on and you will also see four lights come on. And when the four lights are on, that means it's fully charged, right? Uh, just so you know. In addition, this light is not only, are you ready? It's adjustable, so you can adjust it more down or forward, depending on what you're working on, okay? Um, this light has two settings. One is a little bit softer light, one is a brighter light. So whatever lighting you're working in, you can adjust and then the third time you turn it off. So if you click it once, don't forget you have to click it twice to turn it off or you're gonna run your battery low. But um, I love the front, it is adjustable, your light's adjustable. This is where your lens is gonna go in. I'll talk about those in just a little bit and the lens um, holder is adjustable too. Everything about this, the, uh, if you don't want to adjust anything else but your light, you can do that. Now, when you flip this up, you see there is a charging port right here. 
Uh, you do get a uh, charging cord. So um, it's a USB, so you plug the small uh, side of the USB into your glasses. I'm not gonna take time to undo them. And then you plug this into a uh, charging block and your glasses can uh, charge up. So again, you're not having to buy batteries every five seconds. I love that. In addition to that, for your comfort, um, I have put these on. I I have a good size head, okay? And these, uh, they're very flexible. They're very comfortable. Um, I would be comfortable with the glasses portion. But for those of you that may not be, there is a strap uh, that is adjustable for you. So um, you can make, a, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you'd like. And what you're going to do is this button right here um, takes off. You press in the button. I'm gonna break a nail, I know it. Um, you press in the button. Hello. Maybe someone without long nails could do it, but that button gets pressed in, these come off, uh, and then you can attach your uh, strap to the back so you have an actual headband uh, that holds it on. Maybe if you're doing a more heavy duty project, or again, this is just for comfort. Uh, I like the glasses. In addition in here, what you're gonna get besides the band for the back and the USB cord to charge it, don't lose those, is you get a very nice box of your lenses. You have five, count them five, magnification levels. And I'm gonna hold these up um, uh, from weakest magnification to strongest. And this is three and a half times magnification. And you can tell by, can I put that in straight? I swear, every time I unbox something, I mess it up. Uh, you can tell by the thickness on the lenses uh, how strong the magnification is. So what I am gonna do is instead of showing you how these magnify using all five of the levels, I'm just gonna pick the middle level. So it's not gonna be the weakest and it's not gonna be the strongest, but you're gonna see how much clearer your vision is um, and how much closer up you can see with these uh, with these lenses. But you have a choice of five magnification levels, so I wanted to call your attention to that. And again, nice storage box. You do get also um, some little pads for your little nose piece to make it uh, a little bit more comfortable if the nose piece is bugging you. Sometimes that bugs me, so uh, it's nice to have these spongy little stickers that you just stick on the tabs on your nose piece. You also get a nice cleaning cloth. So if you are like me and smudge your glasses every five seconds, um, you can use these to uh, clean the lenses on your glasses. And these lenses, I read the directions, you just pop them in with your hands and then you pop them out with your hands. So they, you pop them, uh, when you pop them in, they stay, they're snug and they're ready to go. Um, but there's really no rocket scientist, science to pulling them out, you just pull them out. So that's very easy. I like easy to use, nothing that's confusing, and uh, these so far these have been very clear. And like I said, this piece that holds your lenses is adjustable, so you can adjust them uh, to your liking. So I'm gonna put this aside, and I'm gonna show you some different options that you've got. Remember, I've got the middle magnification level on these glasses to show you. So, um, First off, I will show you some cross stitch. So this um, particular fabric is Lugana. <laughs> yes, I have paid $5.45 for it. Just letting you know that. Lugana is very, very small. It's an even weave for cross stitch. It is not Ada cloth. I'll show you a sample of Ada cloth here in a minute. But for something like this, my old eyes would need some heavy magnification. So. When I'm getting ready to stitch, these squares are very, very small and you have to count with cross, I mean, there's a lot. So you have to be able to see very well. So not only am I gonna be able to light this baby up, Marlon, if you can get them to where they can see through this, can see through this, look how big that makes it. That is, hang on, that is clear as day to me and that is, on, here, <laughs> how do you want me? Here, you hold them and show them. Thank you. <clears throat> I mean, that is, that is really big. Like, I, can you see those squares? I can see those squares. Hold on, hold on. He's taking off his glasses. You can really see those tiny, tiny squares. Hold on, hold on. 
through the glasses. I could. Your, your phone is trying to zoom in and out. Oh, so. it's not focusing. Dang it. Let's try. Focus phone. Focus. Yeah, that's kind of going to be too hot. Okay. But, yeah, you can really, I can see that well. And, I mean, again, yeah, I definitely, I'm looking and I can see every little crosshair of this fabric. So, that's very nice. So that would be cross stitch. Hopefully my dang phone will focus. Maybe, you know what? Maybe if I turn this light off, maybe it's focusing on the light. Oh, every party has a pooper. That's why we invited you. Party pooper. Okay, I'm just, just the video <laughs> right. guy. That's all I am. Okay, maybe it will focus more on this black. Okay, so this is a cross stitch project. I know this is Kara's project day, apparently. Um, this is a fall cross stitch project that I'm working on. Now, I'm almost embarrassed to show you in the magnification classes because I don't want you to see any of my nasty stitching, but I will show you. Try again. Yeah, that's better. Better? Okay. So you can see, Move I mean. glasses over a little bit. Right there. There you go. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. That's good. Trying. Perfect. Trying to hold still. See, you so, can see it pretty good. <laughs> you can see it well. So, yeah, this is the middle magnification lens. And, guys, these aren't the glasses. This is my phone not focusing. But just wanted to show you some various projects. So that's my fall project. And, again, that's middle magnification. If you're thinking you may need something stronger, you got two more levels of strength on these glasses, uh, two more lenses to use that will make the magnification even stronger. I just chose the middle level so you could see, um, you know, mid-range, not the lightest, not the strongest. All right, let's talk miniatures. Where are my miniature people? I know you love miniatures. I don't, but <laughs> this was the miniature that I did with Brandy, and I would think, I would think you would really be able, is my hand in the way? Oops. You hold it. You hold it. I will hold up this little piece. Hold it close. Hold it closer. Is it focusing? No, it's <laughs> not. Right. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay. That's better. All right. So all these little tiny pieces, these glasses would be amazing for. I'm sorry again. This is my phone not focusing. No, not it's, it's, the, coming through now. it's not the glasses. It's fault. the angle that you were holding. It. It's oh, okay. 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 And then I need some light. There we go. Well, and again, hang on. Let's adjust. Maybe if you need light, I can adjust it for you. Now hold it. The light was fine, but we can try it. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, when you adjust the light. Okay, don't move it up a little bit. There you go. All right, so now we got light and magnification. See, you see the trial and error. This is real life, guys. We're not faking it here. Okay? There we go, that's better. So, yep. All right, so that's a miniature. And then let's get to... This is a multitasking video. So this is my progress on Audrey Hepburn. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. This is from Rose Profit Creations. Oh, I'm just loving working on her. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Would you look at those stunning eyes? So what I would like to do is, Marlon, if you'll do me the honor of holding the glasses again, and we're gonna look at her beautiful, eye and look at maybe if we focus right here on her eye uh, because there's most of it's done but there's some that aren't done so I want them to see the drills in her eye. Um, I did do some substituting uh, in her eye to make them even more beautiful and then this is the area that I still have to work on and um, I'm gonna hold it closer. Right there. Better. So. Okay so you can really see with those glasses. Um, I think these would be these glasses would be extremely useful. And again, if you're not seeing it as well, then there are two other strengths of magnification. So yeah. In fact, I'm gonna do one more thing because just for grins, because I'm a curious person, Marlon. I know, I know, it's taking too long. But again, these lenses are very easily changed out. I am gonna go for the strongest. The big boy, the strongest magnification. Just one more time, stop belly aching. Okay. 
All right, I am back. We did try the big boy. We did try the uh, strongest magnification and it did not work uh, through my phone. So I just wanted to uh, end this video by say, stating that even though my camera couldn't see the magnification that well, uh, it did. This is, uh, again, I've got my middle level magnification lens back in here and you can see uh, the difference in no magnification and what these glasses can do. Um, I really think that they are useful and I think they'll be great. And again, our technical difficulties had nothing to do with these glasses, just my phone. So uh, with that, thank you Art Dot for sending these to me. I will definitely be trying them out. Let me light them up again for you. There you go. <laughs> I'll definitely be trying these out for you guys and letting you know how I like them, but I think um, I'm really going to like them. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video with all of the products. Go check out Art Dot for um, diamond painting storage accessories and uh, for some new diamond paintings they've got. Um, that's what I've got for you, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. And I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.